indeed, Father, there is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone deserve all the praise. We give you praise and give you honor, Lord. We adore you and we worship you. For you are good, you are merciful, you are gracious. We thank you this morning for your goodness unto us. We thank you for a new day, such an awesome day, O God. We thank you for gathering us together before you. We thank you that your mercies are new this morning and your grace is sufficient unto us, Lord. Thank you for the love and kindness that you've shown unto us, Lord. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for quickening us. Thank you that the weak has received strength. Thank you that the hopeless has received hope. Thank you that the sick is healed. Thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the one that is without, O oh God, is, is, is having in abundance. We give you all the praise and glory. Father, as we have gathered before you, Lord, I ask that, Lord, you will speak to us this morning. Teach us your word. Teach us how to pray. Lift us up. And Lord, cause us to increase and move from one step to another. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning in our lives. And let the glory of the Lord be seen. And let Jesus Christ be exalted in this gathering. In Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, I want to share with us the word from the book of Nehemiah chapter 8. The book of Nehemiah chapter 8 from verse number 2. And I'm reading. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation both of men and women and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the, street, before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until midday, before the men and the women and those that could understand. And the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. And Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood, and they had, <clears throat> which they had made for the purpose. And beside him stood Matitha, or Matitha, and Shema, and Anaya, and Urijah, and Hilkiah, and Masaya, on his right hand, and on his left hand. Pediah and Michelle and Micaiah and Hashem and Hashbadana and Zechariah and Meshulam. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up, and Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their faces, their heads, and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Also, Jeshua and Bani and Sherebiah, German, Akab, Shabbatai, and Hodija, Messiah, Kelita, Azariah, Jezabat, Hanan, Taliah, and the Levites caused the people to understand the law, and the people stood in their place. So they read, they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, which is the 
the Seta, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy. Neither be ye grieved. Hallelujah. These were the people who the Lord had shown mercy and visited in the land of captivity. And he had brought them into their promised land. And I will call it restoration of God's glory, of God's love, and of God's covenant, and of God's relationship with his people. And so when they came and they gathered together, and when they were settling in the land, the scripture says that then the priest brought, they asked the priest to bring the book of the law. And then they read it to them. And they caused them to understand that this is how the Lord God had commanded us to live our lives towards him and towards one another. And when they were convinced in their heart that why couldn't we hold on to the law of our Lord? And the scripture says that most of them wept. They lifted up their voices and they wept because they understood what the law said. And sometimes it happens to us when we had gone away out of our, we have gone out of the ordinance of God or the order of our Lord when we have slipped, when we have fallen when we have fallen and then the Lord convicts us sometimes we, 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 we weep within us and we become so sorry we become so grieved that why, why, why how could I how could I how could I have done such a thing and then we begin to pray and say Lord help us but I also see that as the, the day of, of joy and the day of peace, the day of deliverance, because there, there are many people who go astray and they, never, they are not able to come back. They are not able to retrace their steps. But then the Lord pursues his people. And then by his own power, by his own love, by his own grace, he brings them into a place where he opens their eyes and their hearts to his, his, his will and his instructions and, and they begin to understand them. They come to themselves and then they begin to weep and ask the Lord and Father help me and forgive me. Yes. But I want to encourage us with the, this word. And sometimes it is like that. Sometimes we go through situations not because we have fallen, not because we have disobeyed God, but we go through a lot of things in this life. We face afflictions, we face pain, we face persecution, we face intimidations and all kinds of things. We, we are faced with all kinds of sicknesses and weaknesses and, and hardships and hardships. But we are like these people of Israel that by Christ we have been brought into that kingdom. We have been brought into the promised land. And, and the scripture says that we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We have been brought into the kingdom of Jesus Christ, into the kingdom of liberty, into the kingdom of righteousness, into the kingdom of holiness, into the kingdom of salvation, the kingdom of hope, into the kingdom of life. And we find ourselves in Mount Zion where the living God, the Lord God himself dwells. And his angels are there, Jesus Christ. I see the mediator, he's there with us. And then his blood that was shed for us, which is speaking better things for us every day. So this, this our era, in this era in which we find ourselves, beloved, 
irrespective of whatever we go through. It is not like today. It is not a day of grief. It is not a day of weeping. It is not a day. Uh, times are not times of weeping. They are not times of, of lifting us our hands into the air and say that we have come to the end of the road. They, they, they are not times of giving up. They are not times of losing our faith. But they are times of deliverance. They are times of jubilation. They are times of joy. The times of people cry, Jesus. God has brought us back unto Himself through Christ Jesus. God is mindful of us. We are in Mount Zion. We have come unto Mount. Zion. We have come unto Mount Zion where the living God, the powerful God, the creator and the possessor of all things, he lives with us. Beloved, we are not ordinary. I am a child of God. And in these times that I find myself, I ought to know that there are no times of sorrow and mourning because Someone died in my place. Beloved, somebody died in your place. Jesus died. He shed his blood. He broke his body. And the scripture says that he was put to shame. He was crucified outside the gate. He was stripped naked. He was stripped. He was, he was molested. People mocked him because of me. And this work that he did on the cross for me, and he said that it is finished. I don't, I don't have to let it be in vain. And so I cannot, I cannot put my hands upon my head and say that, Lord, I have no hope, and weep and wail and, and, be, and be grieved. And the scripture says that this is the, a day of holy. This is the, a holy day unto our God, a day of holy unto our Lord God. As somebody will say that in this era, in this time in which I find myself, because I have become a child of God through Jesus Christ, it is not an era for me to be weeping and for me to be throwing my hands in the air and say that I have come to the end of the road and the Lord has forgotten about me and, 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 and I have faced disappointment and this upon the things we have been through. We have to say boldly that we are in the place of joy, in the place of peace, in the place of deliverance. Because we have access. The Bible says that the blood of Christ has given us access. So the, the, the Ezra, the priest, and Jeremiah, and the people understood. And the Bible says they encouraged the people. They still the people and said to them that this is no, 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 no. Yes, you are weeping. Yes, you are convinced at heart. And you are weeping and you are sorrowful and, and you wish that you wouldn't, you, you hadn't gone astray. You hadn't gone that far in order to be taken captive, sir. but this is the day, a holy, a day of holiness, a day of deliverance, a day of jubilee, a day of of, of the joy of the Lord. Because even the Lord Himself is rejoicing that His people had come back into the promised land where He ordained for them. So it is a day of joy. Go your home, eat, prepare things, and eat and. We send portions to them that nothing is prepared for. And then rejoice. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. I don't know where you stand, beloved. I don't know what is confronting you. I don't know what is suggesting to you that why, why you are, even though you are a Christian, but there is nothing to show for it. And I don't know what is, what is causing you to give up. I don't know what is what is suggesting to you, the voices that are speaking. I don't know the past experiences which are still speaking and limiting and bringing you down and discouraging you. But this morning you want to take a stand as a child of God and, and resist the devil and resist the voices of sorrow, resist the voices of grief, and resist the voices of disappointment and resist the voices of of, 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 of mourning and do not mourn. Say, mourn not. The scripture says, mourn not. Uh, weep not, but be, be, be joyful. Go home and eat. Your food, prepare your food and eat and make merry because the day is a holy day unto our God. Uh, a day that God is, is jubilating. A day that God is rejoicing over you, beloved. These are times that God is rejoicing over you and me because of Jesus Christ and what he did for us. Because we have become sons and daughters of the Most High God. God 
is rejoicing. God is happy and is rejoicing over us. Why should we sit down and be crying? Why should we sit down and be weeping in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? I want to pray this morning. I want to lift up your spirit unto the Lord and say, Father, Lord God, you died for me. You died in my place. You took my place. Huh? You, brought, you restored me unto the Father. You restored me unto the inheritance of our God. You restored me unto the kingdom of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I am not ordinary. And I cannot allow the spirit of sorrow to, to overwhelm me. I cannot allow the spirit of disappointment to rob me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If the Lord says that I am the head and not the tail, indeed it is true. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If the Lord says I am the righteousness of God. It is true that I am the righteousness of God. If the Lord says that I have been liberated and delivered from the powers of darkness, it is true that is who I am. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this morning we announce to every element, we announce to every thing that is around us, that causes us to be sorrowful, that causes us to forget our redemption, to forget that indeed Christ has redeemed us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we judge every voice of accusation, every voice of sorrow, every voice of deception, every voice of disappointment, every voice of failure, every voice of our past mistakes, we judge and we overthrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we bring ourselves into our place where the Lord has ordained for us. For the Lord has given me territories upon territories. The Lord has given me nations upon nations to rule because he has made me a king. He has made me a queen. He has made me a priest on the, upon the earth in the name of Jesus. Jesus, and I rule and I overcome, and I rule and I overcome, and I rule and make decrees in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, I exercise my kingship, I exercise my authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, where I have sat to cry and to weep that, oh God, Mazuki Paruantesete, lift us up this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your people up this morning, O Lord. By by your grace, lift us up, Lord. By your grace, lift us up, Lord. By your grace, lift us up, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by your grace, let every hindrance and and every limitation, O oh God, be taken away from the midst of your people. Uh, the spirit of mourning and the spirit of disappointment and the spirit of soul, Father, Lord Jesus, uh, and the spirit of condemnation, let it be taken away in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mazuki Paruante, we Brando Shaki, Taruanteke, Jariapate. We have more advantage, uh, oh yes, Lord, uh, than the people of the old, because people of old, because we have Jesus. Christ. Jesus said that among all the people who are born of women, there is none that is greater than John the Baptist, but not with notwithstanding, even the least in the kingdom of God is greater than John the Baptist. Beloved, you are not the least in the kingdom of God. I am not the least in the kingdom of God. And the scripture says that the least is even greater than Jonah. That is who we are in Christ Jesus, that we are greater than the things that we focus upon and the things that we allow to derail us, the things that we allow to reduce us to nothing. We are greater than all these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we stand in the position of Christ. Uh, and the scripture says that if we are heirs of God, it means that we have become joint heirs with Christ. Until somebody speak unto yourself. Say, I am a joint heir with Christ Jesus. Uh, I am not ordinary. I am not ordinary. Sicknesses cannot overcome me. Hardship cannot overcome me. Poverty cannot overcome me. In the name of the Lord. Oh, Jesus, fear cannot overcome me. There is nothing in this life that can cause me to believe that the Lord has deserted me, or the Lord has forgotten about me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but it doesn't matter how long a situation has persisted, but you are not ordinary. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the power of Christ this morning confront every Every situation that we have been through, the power of Jesus confronts every situation. The power of Jesus confronts every situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, where we have sat for years, uh, the, the, the place of sorrow, 
the place of pity party, the place of reduction, the place uh, of disappointment, uh, the place uh, of, of, of unbelief and, and, and doubt uh, that we have sent for years. Uh, Father, we receive grace this morning to wake up, O oh God. We receive this, uh, grace this morning to wake up, O oh God, to wake up from every darkness, to wake up from every slumber, to wake up from every weakness, to wake up from every sleep, Lord, to wake up from every place of, of sorrow, every place of morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We wake up, we God, and we get up from, from every place of ignorance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and we come, we hold on to the knowledge, uh, the holiness of your word, uh, and we hold on to your wisdom that you have provided in the name of Jesus by the help of the Holy Spirit uh, in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and we go into your word, O God, and remind ourselves uh, that indeed we are children of the Most High God. We are not redeemed with corruptible things, beloved. The scripture says that we have been redeemed with incorruptible things, uh, which is the blood of Christ and his broken body, that precious blood, that precious blood, we were bought at a price, I, I was bought at a price, therefore sickness cannot uh, cause that, that purchase or that transaction to be vague, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, poverty cannot bring me, sin cannot bring me down, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, everything in this world, every element, the systems of this life, the systems of the world, the systems of men, the, the dictates of men, in the name of Jesus Christ, the opinions of people, cannot reduce me to nothing. It cannot pull me away from what the Lord has done for me, from what the Lord has ordained for me in this life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord has established me in my place. The Lord has established you in your place, beloved. The Lord has brought me into his kingdom. The Lord has brought me into my territory. The Lord has established me into my territory. He has established me into his glory. He has established me in his peace. He has established me in his honor. He has established me in his dignity. He has established me uh, in his blessings uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And nothing in this life, uh, no, my past mistakes uh, cannot pull me out of where the Lord has called me to be. He has redeemed me. Every day is a day of celebration. Every day is a day of merrymaking. Every day is a day uh, of rejoicing unto the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Beloved, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Even when you are sick, the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you don't understand, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh, when you think that you have come to the end of the road, the joy of the Lord is your strength. When we think that we have been disappointed over the years uh, or for so many years, uh, the joy of the Lord is our strength uh, because the Lord is rejoicing over us all the time uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody the Lord is calling you onto your place where He has ordained for you uh, in the name of Jesus, the place of joy, the place of joy, the place of joy, the place of joy, the place of joy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we hold on to that place of joy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we come into our place, we come into our rooms, uh, we come into our positions, we take a stand, oh God. In the name of Jesus, uh, in our territory, O oh God, and we resist every work of the enemy. Father, Lord God, God, you did not redeem us with corruptible things. Sorrow, mourning, weeping, and all the things we experience and we see in this world cannot overcome us and take us from the place where you have ordained us. God brought the people from captivity. He redeemed them into their own land. And he expected them to rejoice. He expected them to be at peace. Beloved, be at peace. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The power of the Holy Spirit come upon you and the strength of the Lord come upon you, rest upon you in the name of Jesus. The grace of God, O oh God, be sufficient towards you this morning. In the name of Jesus, the angels minister to you this morning. The Lord hold your hands and the Lord quicken you, the Lord strengthen you, and the Lord pull us out of many waters and out of every merry clay and every horrible pit and place us upon a solid, a solid ground where, O oh God, his glory is seen, where his light is seen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, where his power is demonstrated, may testimonies, yes, Lord, 
May testimonies fall upon us. Testimonies be around us. Testimonies be our portion. Every day of our lives, may we, yes, Lord, may we experience miracles. May we experience the, 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 the presence of God. May we experience the power of our God. May we experience the redemption of Christ. May we experience the deliverances of God. May we experience, yes, Lord, miracles. May the Lord surprise each and every one of us. Even this morning as we go into our offices, may the Lord give you a testimony, beloved. The Lord visit you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord lift you up. The Lord strengthen. The Lord quicken you in the name of Jesus Christ. And above all, may his glory shine on you, even now and forevermore, in Jesus' name. Beloved, God bless you so much for joining